Record as a pretty fair quarterback is looking on to uh, toss the coin for a second consecutive <laughs> playing right. of the Bell game here in Crawfordsville. It's that type of game, and we are thrilled you are with us on the ISC Sports Network. And Roach will watch that one sail the end zone for a touchback, and the DePaul Tigers will have the football. The Wabash D. Second and nine. Blitz coming. McKay Hill fires. Catch made. First down. Ballantyne taken down at the 45-yard line. Fourth play of the game, and already to pause across the 50-yard line. McKay Hill, catch made. First down inside the 25-yard line. Already a red zone opportunity here. Flair out to Baumgartner. Baumgartner with blockers in front, lowers the shoulder. He'll have a first down. Going to be first and goal to go. Second and goal. Fake to Baumgartner. McKay Hill throws, touchdown. Ballantyne. Caught the first pass on the second play of the drive. He ends the opening drive, and for a second time in his many visits here to Crawfordsville, DePaul is on the board first. Campbell, little draw play here for Campbell. Campbell finds a seat. Campbell has a first down. Huge third and nine. Pickup by Wabash. Thompson throws in the flat. Catch made. Turning up field, Cooper Sullivan, already a record holder at Wabash, moves the change yet again. Get some pressure on Thompson. Already midway through the opening quarter. Thompson feels pressure, has a lane, slings it instead. Catch made, Allen, first down, Wabash at the nine-yard line. Always has something up his sleeve. He's got trick plays, playing a little option, football, Campbell cuts inside. Fantastic block by Allen, the wide receiver. Touchdown, Little Giants, and here we go. And H-back will lead the way. Whitehead again finds that seam, and where he dives, that should be good enough to move the chain. Call him tiny. <laughs> Quick hitter, McHale on the seam route. That's Quigley. Quigley past the 50-yard line first down again. Baumgartner back in for the short yard of Jefford. And Baumgartner hits, but again, yards after the contact. First down. Baumgartner, nope, McCahill throws it, it's intercepted. Great read by Wabash, picked off. Just McCahill's fifth of the season. Return back to the 40-yard line and give that play to Mike Holesclaw. Look at the interception. Play clock at two, got it off just in time. Counter play to Thompson, and Thompson has the first down. Thompson, quarterback draw. Great lead block. Thompson runs around the umpire, heading for the end zone. Taken down at the five-yard line. 92 yards. Looking for one more. They'll get it. Touchdown, Little Giants. They go touchdown, touchdown on their first two drives of the game. Well, just what the doctor ordered. You know you get a stop on defense. It's Bob Gardner back in there. He'll get the handoff, and Bob Gardner again. Wabash doing a great job at getting defenders back there. Cahill will do the ladder this time. Not there. Fires. Valentine, did he stay in bounds? Yes. He got a foot down after the contact. Ooh. I think he may have just been out of bounds. Close. Yeah. But again, we have that luxury. Our officials on the field do not. Here's Quigley. Again, he's been the big play player. Breaks a tackle. Quigley off to the races. Touchdown to Paul. No flags on the field. Well, there is now. Uh, I think they got him for a celebration at the end. There was no taunt. During the run, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 13 of the offense. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Down will be first. So that wipes up the touchdown. It's not a score. McKay Hill. Now he will tuck it and run. Gets a great block. McKay Hill scores. No flags this time. This will stand. Touchdown, Tigers. And like I said just a few minutes ago, really not a threat to run is Nathan McCahill. Well, that's why I'm not coaching DePaul. That's the five-pack up front. The side winder throw finds Sullivan. In the 40-year history of the North Coast Athletic Conference, Thompson trying to avoid pressure and will pick up positive yardage. Could be a first down. Makes a wise business decision and totaling six yards. Hand off to Snyder. Goes around the left side of his offensive line. Keeps the legs driving. First down, Wabash. Their 10th of the game. Thompson buys time. Looks, runs, gets it. First down. Kelsey, thank you. So Rucker is on for a 
nine yard boot. Distance, not a problem. Accuracy isn't either. First field goal of the day puts Wabash in front, 17 14. Paul has all three timeouts at their discretion. Baumgartner, first down and more. And they can have a wall to run behind on the left side of that offensive line. Six man box for Wabash. Smith with a comeback route and just wow. what a catch. Fought his way through that one. Hand off Whitehead. Finds a seam. And still keeps the legs turning, and that was going to be right around the first down marker. Double tight end set. H back as well. Baumgartner gets it. First down. Touchdown. Or you run that play. How about Gus Baumgartner? How about that big offensive line? Hand off. Snyder. Off right tackle, dives, and I think he's going to have just enough Jonathan for the first Snyder. down. Expand boxer to Paul. Thompson will keep. Great job to make a tackler miss, and another, and another, and a first down, and bouncing outside. Thompson steps out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Still on third and goals from the 13 very often. Fair pull. Thompson again dropped and sacked. Rolling there again to help clean him up. Goal, who thought he had a fumble earlier. Native of Oklahoma. Snap back. Plenty of leg on this one. And the fans behind the goal post tell me all you know. It's good. DePaul's lead is down to one. Corner blitz. Won't get home in time. So Thompson turns up field. And Thompson spins away from contact. Picks up the first down. 32 yards. Thompson slings it. Catch made, first down. That's the backup tight end. Second time he's called Connor Garrity's name. Championship team. Hand off Campbell. First down Wabash. He's taken down after a gain of about 12 yards. Ready to go. Second and seven. Thompson looks, fires, catch made. Sullivan, if he could stay in bounds, he's got four yards to pick up. Liam throws it. Caught! I think he's down just shy of the goal line, yes. First down, not a touchdown. Snyder scores it. Wabash in front with 13.45 left to play. Speed at which both these teams move. McKay Hill pulls. Catch made. Valentine makes a defender miss. First down, Tigers at the 46-yard line. Man in motion. McKay Hill. Here's pressure. Somehow avoids it, gets it to Whitehead, and what looked like a sack is going to be awfully close to a first down. Missed three of them there. Handoff, Baumgartner. All kinds of room. Baumgartner spun down by Jarvis, but not until the 19-yard line. Baumgartner again. Similar result. Still going. Powers through to the five-yard line. A gain of 14. Baumgartner is the power back. Hand off Baumgartner, touchdown. An extra point could put DePaul back in front with 10-16 left to go. You don't want to see it any better than this in the Monon Bell Classic. Back and forth, anything you can do, I can do better. Really help those stats for the men in red. Barry, it's blocked, wow. it's blocked. And we are tied at 27. Overtime in the Monon Bell Classic. We have nowhere else to go, right? Amanda, I'm going to be late for dinner, and it's great. <laughs> I'll vouch for him, Amanda. <laughs> that ball hits the H-back, and Wabash wow. recovers. Oh, my goodness. And it's Jake Pash that had the fumble or the recovery late in the game to win at Hampton Sydney in game number one and hit the H-back, and now Wabash can win it with a field goal. Fake the hand up to Tyler. Thompson throws. Sullivan. Couldn't get it. Snap. Placement. Blocked. Wow. Blocked. We're still playing. Tied at 27. They say DePaul never quits. And right there, the Tiger defense, the Tiger special teams proving that saying true. Three-man rush. Extra backer in coverage. Thompson buying time, buying time. And finally just kind of realizes nothing there. And this kick, good. Wow. So Rucker has a new season long. Wabash is in front. A DePaul field goal ties it. A DePaul touchdown wins it. 
Quigley makes a man miss, has the first down. Taken down at the 11 yard line, first down Tigers. Make the handoff, McKay Hill out in the flat, catch made, touchdown, ball game. DePaul will win, and amazingly, it's Will Caster. He was the player that the snap hit him to set up the fumble. He catches the game winner. DePaul has a 10-win season for the first time in school history. They are going to the Division Three playoffs for a third consecutive season. And DePaul University, the Tigers now three-time NCAC champions, and they will represent this league. The selection show is tomorrow afternoon on NCAA.com. DePaul knows they will see their name in lights on that board.